This video is for all my short kings out there. Wait, let me paraphrase. This is for all my short kings and my short queens out there. If you are a short king or queen, let me know in the comments down below. Be proud about that. And I will say this further on in the video. But be proud of your height because life can tell you you can do anything. What's up, guys? Ball, and you're going to welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Madden video. Now, in today's video, I want to do another little experiment because I did the best names video, which y'all can go check out right now. And I was trying to think of some new fun ideas to include. So I decided to make the world's shortest NFL team. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm playing as the Green Bay Packers for this video. For this little Madden experiment. Well, I'll tell you. Because I saw a little thing for for Joker Mag. And it says that the Green Bay Packers are the smallest market NFL team with a market size of 471,000 people. And it's the smallest major league professional sports market in North America. So I'm like, okay, this has to work for this particular team and now let's head into the roster let's let's show you the team that i have chosen now i done i read articles i have read different things about it and i mean and i'll say this takes this took a little bit this took uh, some time but i want to show you my roster here we go so at quarterback, I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's Kyler Murray leaned away with 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 the height of five ten. It it's crazy to me. Like Kyler Murray has been made fun of a lot because of his height. Because Han, I'll show you a meme right here, meme right here, and meme right here as examples. But 5'10", if you really think about it, in 2024, that is not that small. That's not that tiny. That's kind of like a, a nice height to have, really. And for the backup, well, the same height of 5'10", we have the rookie Bryce Young. Yes, the, the same memes apply here. At running back, now, these, are, these players are all tied with the height of 5'6". So... How this works for me that I'm going to try, because I've tried doing research about everybody's individual height, like in the feet, in inches. It's confusing in a lot of different articles and a lot of different things, like, tell you differently. So I decided to go off of overall on Madden. That's my little tiebreaker. So with the height of 5'6", with a 73 overall, we have Boston Scott. We have uh, Deuce Vaughn, who you may remember from my Best Names video. We also have J.J. Taylor, 68 overall, with a height of 5'6". At fullback, again, with the name, we have, again, with the best names video, we have C.J. Ham. And, fun fact, he, yeah, with the height of 5'11", there was another player by the name of uh, Troy Harrison, I believe, and he's a fullback for the Texans. But, I went with the overall difference, where... CJ Ham is a 75 overall, but Harrison is a 60 something. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Now for the wide receivers. Now I'm going to show you based off the height. Like, this is what the order looks like. So, wide receiver one. They, yeah, just ignore this little lineup right here. Wide receiver one, we have Deontay Hardy, who is named the shortest wide receiver in the NFL with a height of 5'6. Then we have Jakeen Grant Sr. with a height of 5'6". We also have Rondell Moore with a height of 5'7". We also have his uh, former uh, Cardinal teammate in Greg Dortch with a height of 5'7". We also have Demario Douglas with a height of 5'8". And Wondell Robinson with a height of 5'8". as well. Now, you may be wondering... well. I think one short receiver you may come to mind is Cole Beasley. And the reason why he's not in this video is because he's a 73. And he was like 5'8 as well. So I went with like the best overall for that particular like height. 
tight end. Well, fun fact. Originally, it was John Weeks, the long snapper at 5'10". And I was thinking to myself, do I really want to put a 28-27 overall like long snapper as my starting tight end? Don't get me wrong. He looks like a very nice guy, a nice gentleman. But I decided to go with like a little different approach. I want to make this challenge a little bit more because this is going to be a challenge either way. I decided to keep him at the long snapper, at the long snapper position. But the actual starter for the team is Connor Hayward at six foot. So if you don't count long snapper, his height is six foot, like starting tight end. Then we have John Rain at six foot one. And we also have everyone's favorite, Taysom Hill, the Mr. Everything Man, with a height of six two. Now left tackle. I literally had to scroll through. Diff, I had to scroll through a lot for this video on Madden and read art again, read articles again. So I came up with this: the shortest left tackle in the league, Charles Leno Jr. at six three. Also, Kelvin Ben, Kelvin, Kelvin Beecham at six foot three. At left guard, this is my little research here. Um, the smallest is Jason Poe at six foot one. And the best six foot two player that I find overall wise is Isaiah Wynn with a 79. At center, we have the shortest center in the league, Aaron Brewer at 73, and Nick Harris also at six foot one with a 67 overall. Right guard, the shortest right guard I found is Shaq Mason at an 82 overall. We also have Will Hernandez, who is also six who's six two. At 80, so if Shaq Mason goes down, we have a very good, solid backup. And right tackle, we have Mike Oinu at six foot three as well. I just moved him to right. You know, he was originally right tackle, but I moved Kelvin Beecham down to um, left tackle just to add some depth. Then we also have Zach Tom at six foot four. Again, better overall wise. That's how I'm going to determine. Because, I'll say this, I will run to the right a lot. <laughs> I will run to the right a lot. I don't trust my left side, I will. And left end, the, the shortest left end in the league right now is Grady Jarrett at 6 foot. I want to be honest with you. I didn't think he was 6 foot, okay? He looks, he looks bigger in person. Okay, he looks bigger in general. I didn't think he was 6 foot. I thought he was like taller than that. Uh, we also have Jannard Avery at six foot as well. We have uh well ignore him. We have Jonai Tavai, who is the shortest right end with with a height of five ten. The other one is Byron Murphy the second with six foot one, which I was surprised. I was scrolling through this earlier and I was like, oh, I could use Byron Murphy the second. I could use a rookie. And then I saw five foot ten, and I was like, I was like, <laughs> literally, I was just sobbing my eyes out. Not really, but like you kind of understand how he was. Now the shortest D tackle in the league is Puna Ford with a height of five eleven. Then I also added um, the best six foot, the the second shortest D tackle is Michael Pierce at six foot, and also DJ Jones six foot as well. So now. We also have Malcolm Rodriguez, the shortest left outside linebacker at 5'11", and Grant Stewart at 5'11", as well. Um, we have the shortest middle linebacker starting for our team is Darion, is Darren Butler at 5'10". See, I got so excited. I mean, that's why I'm running like a, a defense that will let me use Nick Bolton, who it, I thought it was going to be the shortest. I thought I could, I could, I thought I could use Nick Bolton, but nope. 5'11", same with Denzel Perriman, and same with David Long Jr. This guy beat out everybody else. The shortest right outside linebacker in the league is Quincy Williams with a height of 5'11", and N'Kobe Dean at 5'11", as well. Now, for corners, Marcus Jones, well, these guys are the shortest corners in the league. There's a lot more 5'8 people, but I decided to use the best overall ones. Yeah, Marcus Jones... The rookie, Christian Azain, I think I mispronounced his name. I'm terribly sorry. We had Emik Robertson 
We have Nikel Roby Coleman. We have Eric Garrier. And we also have Trevius Hodges Tomlinson. Now, before I show you the free safeties, I want you to, right now, I'm going to quiz you. Who do y'all think, like, the shortest, like, free safety is in the league? If you would said, like, Antoine Winfield Jr. and, like, or someone like uh, the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, I would have been very happy with that. Well, they were 5'9". They are not the shortest, but the shortest player in the league at free safety is LaMarcus Joyner at 5'8". I got very upset with this one. But we also got Adarius Washington at 5'8 as well. And 5'9". We have Quandre Diggs, who is the shortest strong safety. I'll put it down in quotations. And we have Ugo Amati at 5'9 as well. At least we got somebody good on the, you know, on the safety. At least we, we got that good. I'm not saying LaMarcus Jordan is bad, but I'm just saying, like, a quality, good, you know, starting safety. And the the smallest kicker in the league, the shortest kicker in the league, is Blake Groupie. No shot. I didn't even say his name right. See, they blocked his they blocked his image up for a reason because he knows how badly I pronounced his last name. And the shortest punter in the league is Ryan Stonehouse with a height of five foot ten. Yeah, that's pretty much our team right now. And we are in 81 overall and 80 offense and an 83 defense. So how I done this, like how I determined this, if you are the smallest player at your position, then technically you are starting. So instead of starting like Rondell Moore, for example, who is in higher who's higher overall, I went with Deontay Hardy and Jakeen Grant Sr. because they are both like tied for the shortest wide receiver. And let me know how y'all feel about this team. I might get some replies about it. I'll be I'll definitely be looking at the comments for this one. I definitely will. And uh so far I, I thought we made a bad team for a second. I thought we did. I thought the overall I thought the overall was not gonna be that I thought the overall was gonna be bad. But you know, eighty one was very generous uh from Madden. It's just how this game would like to screw me over. That's what I'm worried about. So we're going to sim to uh, midseason. And we're going to hop into that game once we see the results of our of our midseason crusade. So I'll check you all. I'll check with y'all in a little bit. All right. Wow. We are one in five. <laughs> I don't understand why we are one in five. I don't get it. Let me take a look at... Oh, wait, wait, what? Kyler Murray was a force through the air today against the Broncos. And he came out with the win. 335 passing yards, two touchdowns. Oh, Grady Jarrett, sir. I'm upset by that. Hey, let's just take a look. Let's take a look at the record. We are dead even. <laughs> so, 1,213 yards, four touchdowns, four interceptions. That's... At the midseason? Our running game didn't really do anything. It really didn't, but I mean, we got some touchdowns from Kyler, Boston Scott, Deuce Vaughn, CJ Ham, you know, JJ Taylor. All right, um, we only have four touchdowns. Three went to Jakeen Grant Sr., one went from Deontay Hardy. So what exactly happened? Oh, wow. We let, we, our O-line just couldn't defend Kyler. But Jannar Avery with a, with a sack. Quincy Williams with a half a sack. Marcus Jones half a sack. Michael Pierce half a sack. And Ugo Amadi half a sack. But interceptions. Christian Azini with the interception. Two interceptions. Quincy Williams with one. Marcus Jones with one. Nick Bolton with one. Blake, Gru Gru Blake Groupie was uh, terrible. Punting, punter just got the punt. So, we're 30th in the league for offense, and we're 16th in defense. At least our defense is good, I guess. So, there's definitely some changes that we had to be made. 
Yeah, this is why. I, yeah, I gotta take action. Let's play. Let's play this game against the Vikings. It's a rival. I can't wait. Let's you know. This is for the Packers fans. This is for the Packers fans and Tom Grassi. They owe it upon me to help the shortest NFL team and the shortest, m smallest market team, the Packers, beat the, in Tom Grassi's words, the purple incarnation of Satan. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get some upgrades to the boys real quick to help them out. So, alright. You know, I don't understand. Yeah, again, this team is kind of meh. Right, the team is pretty meh. But, we're gonna hop it. We're gonna hop into this game right now. We're gonna hop into this game right now. Against the 85 overall minutes of the Vikings. This is going to be a long one. So let's hop right into it right now. Transition! We are here in Lambo. We are here in the beautiful Lambo field. Uh, and we get the ball first. To start it out today. I need the guard. I need blocks, boys. I need blocks, boys. We need blocks, boys. Okay. 25. Um, I like, it's weird seeing Kyler Murray in the, uh, green. I don't know why. It's weird seeing it. I did say, let's run to the right a lot. Let's run to the right. We need some blocks. Boston Scott, he's off to the races, and he's, he shoots that guy out. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the old line is definitely going to be a problem. I'm going to avoid... Gilmore as much as possible. What is our O-line doing? Well, at least we got the ball to Wondell Robinson. Oh, it's on the defense. Okay. I thought it was a lot worse than that, but you know what? I'll take it. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not even getting blocks. Hey, hey yo, Shaq, mate. I think that was a Wienu. A Wienu over here making plays. He just he just flattened that guy. This is definitely gonna be bad. Oh god. Deontay Hardy and a touchdown! Beautiful dot from Kyler with the amazing reception from Deontay Hardy. Yeah, that, I think the O-line is the biggest problem on this team. It's the problem. Oh my god, that's why. Don't tell me they're don't tell me they're challenging it. Oh, they were challenging it. But um that didn't work. It did it. And groupie, you better not miss this. Thank you. So now we did the one offensive drive. It's time for us to go on the defense. And Stonehouse time to punt it away. That was a beautiful punt. Oh, see, you're scared. He's scared. If you need the ball, you're scared. You take your you take your uh, little points like a man. You take your uh, run yards like a man. This is gonna be interesting. Oh. He still held on to it. All right, one reception, one yard. Success right now. Okay, it won't let me switch. It won't let me switch. This is gonna go so terrific. Oh! Jesus, that's right, Michael Pierce. All right, well, let me switch again, but it's okay. Third and six. Third and six, we gotta make it. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. Stop right there. 
right there. Oh, wow. What kind of coverage was that? Oh, oh. Oh, he could have picked that off. Roby Coleman. Yeah, you swallowed it away, but you could have picked it off. One digs on Jefferson. One digs on Jefferson. Roby Coleman. What? Oh, wow. oh, that was Robertson. I'm sorry. That was Robinson with the stop. This is gonna be. Oh! That was nice. That was nice. Good stop. Oh, they're going for it. They are going for it. They have the massive ball. They have the most massive balls I've ever seen in my life to go for this on fourth and five. Instead of taking their three points like a man, they. Yeah, see. What did I tell you? What I tell you, just take your three points like a man. Don't be brave. Don't be brave at all. You know, it's true. I'll do one play on them. I'll do one play on them because I'm so humorous. From Mr. Chakeen Grant. You know, I'll, score, I'll score another touchdown on you just because you decided to be brave, okay? I'll run, kind of run. Run, kind of run. Oh, we're into the second quarter. We're into the second quarter. You know, I'll just embarrass. You know, I'll get this touchdown and I'll embarrass them. That's right, Jakeen Grant. He has been our savior for this team. Perfect. That was so beautiful. And Groupie. Don't miss this one, okay? Thank you. Alright, now it's time for us to actually super sim to see how my team does on their own. And, oh my god, there is... I mean, surely that was a fluke. Right? Just please score, team. Just score. Oh my god. Come on. Can we actually fumble? Come on. Oh, we're coming back. We're coming back, and... And, uh... We lost to a team led by J.J. McCarthy who didn't score a single touchdown. 30 to 41, 328 yards, zero touchdowns. Well, Kyler, 20 for 24, 265 yards and three touchdowns. Did a much better game. While wow, JJ Taylor scored a touchdown. And, well, we can't even stop a guy named Ty Chandler, who scored three touchdowns on us. Okay. And we couldn't even stop Jordan Hudson. Why? Just why? Deontay Hardy had a touchdown. John Rain had a touchdown. And Jakeen Grant, who we helped with the touchdown. We got Byron Murray with a side. Jannard Avery. No interceptions. Oh, my God. Where is that? Tell me how we lost to a team led by J.J. McCarthy who hasn't even scored a touchdown. Barely did anything. At least Deontay Hardy got a touch. At least Deontay Hardy got an upgrade. Where we are falling down even further. Let's just hope this, the world's shortest NFL team, can win. Maybe, I'm not even expecting a playoff berth, but maybe they do, and I, you know. Maybe they do win. Maybe they go to the playoffs. I don't know. I'll catch you all in a little bit. Oh no, I'm getting flashbacks to a, to the last video. <laughs> oh no. We are 2 and 15. I can't even escape that. Oh my god. What happened? What happened? I'm scared to check out the results.
I legit am. So, Kyler Murray, 3,469 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. He literally tied the amount of touchdowns he did with interceptions. Yep. Go back to Arizona with Marvin Harrison Jr. He'll save you, I swear. At least Bryce Young got some touchdowns. Run game barely did anything. Except Kyler Murray literally running for five touchdowns. Receiving Jakeem Gray with a thousand yards. In five touchdowns. Jakeem seems very happy about it. Got Deontay Hardy, nine, 719 yards, four touchdowns. Rondon Moore got three. Greg Dorch got one. Taysom Hill got two. John Rain even got a touchdown. That's beautiful. And even Demario Douglas. He had zero reception. Wait, he had he had one reception, zero yards, and he get and he got a touchdown. Absolute legend. Blocking the I know the O line's at full here. Who's responsible? Michael Winu. Nine sacks allowed. Jack Base with five. Air Brewer with five. Jason Poe with five. Leno three. Three. Oh my God. And Zach Tom, Nick Harris, and Will Hernandez somehow became perfect compared to these bums. We got Janeiro Avery with four. Our leading sack leader with four. Three and a half for Byron Murphy. One and a half for Quincy Williams. One and a half, a half, a half, a half. Well, interceptions. Three for Marcus Jones. Christian Isian with three. Quincy Williams with two, two, one. Honestly... The defense didn't really do as bad. I think it's mostly the O-line's o fault. It's mostly them. But, yeah. Oh, okay, the kicker kind of really didn't help us either. Punters got a punt. We were 30th for offense and 30 for... We were almost... We're second last at defense. All right, let's just take a look at the yearly awards. Mahomes won MVP. We didn't even came close. Okay, Caleb, Jared, and JJ all made it. That was that's the real spin in the face right there. <laughs> NFC OPOY. What's it, Jalen? Did we even made it on here? Let's just let's just take a look real quick before we end out this video. Um. I'm not really seeing anything. Nope. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, defense rookie of the year. Christian Isaiah is in fourth. Okay, this rookie has a bright future. I swear to God. He's doing so good. Oh, yeah, I traded. Jordan Love to the Cardinals, so that's why I, I got too happy for a second. But I forgot, we don't, we have Kyler Murray, who did a very, very piss-poor job. We have nobody running back. Wide receiver, give me Jakeen Grant, and Jakeen Grant on here. O-line, uh, nobody. Oh, wait, oh no, Will Hernandez. Okay, Will Hernandez, the shining stud on the O-line. D lineman, nothing. Linebacker, nothing. DB, nothing. Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Izian. So Izian, Will Hernandez, and Jakeen Grant, they all helped out this team when we clearly did not want to play. Kicker, oh, we ain't on here. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is the world's shortest NFL team with unexpected results. I thought we would be way better than that. I'll say this. If you want me to do the tallest NFL player team, let me know down in the comments down below. I will do it. To uh, rinse out... A disastrous season like this but hey i want you all to do me a favor make sure i'll drop a like on this video if you did enjoy and please subscribe to the channel to help me reach 100 subs before the year 2024 comes to a close and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on a brand new video and it's your boy jigger number 12 and i'm out peace